Hi, I'm Dr. Veronica Vax, and today I would like to talk about interesting article in Journal of Gastroenterology and one disturbing fact that I found there. Article is evidence that proton pump inhibitor therapy induces symptoms it is used to treat. What basically it means that when you take proton pump inhibitors to treat gastric ulcer or uh, Gerd syndrome or Barrett's esophagus, they're actually capable to create that. But that's not the point I would like to talk to, uh, today to you about. There is an interesting paragraph that I want to bring your attention to. And here I will read it for you. The marked trophic effect of proton pump inhibitors drastically increase level of gastrin caused major concerns during early animal safety tests as a proportion of female rats on long-term omeprazole developed carcinoid tumors of mucosa. So now let me explain you that in simple terms. First of all, traffic effect. It means that um, activation or more growth. Carcinoid tumors. Carcinoid is a group of tumors, neuroendocrine tumors, usually starts in the lungs or, uh, or um, um, digestive tract, in stomach, small intestine, large intestine, or colon. So what happened in the stomach? Parietal cells produce hydrochloric acid to digest food. Concentration of acid in the stomach is high. Proton pump inhibitors block production of hydrochloric acid. There are other cells, they act as like a barometer in the stomach to determine concentration of acid and send the back signal. So the cells in the stomach actually communicate among themselves by means of hormones. So as the concentration of acid decreased due to drug use, the barometer cells detect and they send the signal and the signal is gastrin a hormone it tells the cells start to produce more acid as we drive acid uh, lower and lower they send signal start to produce more start to produce more and they affect parietal cells and tell them by high level of gastrin start to reproduce reproduction out of control means cancer. Now you understand why I try to tell you that it's a good idea, it's very prudent to understand and to identify the cause of your acid reflex. Eliminate that and then you don't need to take any drugs and you don't need to be concerned about the side effect. With all of that, please subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel, see my other videos. Thank you.